hilarious article in on salon.com by Joe Muto. Now, Joe Muto is this Fox News mole. OK, remember when we heard about the Fox News uh, mole? He now has written this book, An Atheist in the Foxhole, a liberal's eight year odyssey inside the heart of the right wing media. And an excerpt of it appears on um, on salon.com. There's tons of hilarious stuff in there. He talks about Bill O'Reilly's day, like how Bill O'Reilly dictates the show while driving in while he's getting driven in from his house on Long Island, how Bill O'Reilly once like he got the wrong cheese on a sandwich and he made his assistant go back to the deli and tell them specifically, you gave Bill O'Reilly the wrong cheese. He wants his money back, how they've set up a way to print remotely on Bill O'Reilly's home printer the notes for that day. Right. But because Bill O'Reilly just couldn't understand the concept of remote printing, they told him that it was a fax machine. Like they basically said, we every day we're going to fax you the documents. And Bill O'Reilly just thinks it's a fax because he doesn't understand the concept of like a remote printer. Anyway, Mm -hmm. there's a bunch of funny stuff and you should read it. But here's the funniest thing. Remember that clip where Bill O'Reilly read an email from someone named Jack Meoffer. Remember that? Just to, if you don't remember that, I want to play this for you, just so everybody has it fresh in their mind. Jack Meoffer, Springfield, Massachusetts, says, O'Reilly, I see the new Fox definition of fair and balanced means interviewing DNC Chief Jerry McAuliffe at both conventions. Well, right you are, Mr. Meoffer. <laughs> That's the best. Anyway, so the initial thought was what happened there is like it slipped by Bill O'Reilly, right? Not the case at all. This actually happened. They got an email and everybody knew it was a fake name. It was Jack Mehoff. Okay, that's the name it came in. And it clearly is unreadable on television. So Bill O'Reilly liked the email so much that he couldn't he didn't want to cut it. So what he decided to do is he said, let's change the name to Mehoffer. That'll make it all better. And producers, according to the mole, were just pleading with him and saying, Bill, don't do this. This doesn't make any sense. We can't do that. And Bill O'Reilly just stuck to it. And he read the letter again, the actual name. He could have just left the name out or changed it to anything. Just Jack from Springfield, Massachusetts. He said, no, no, no. I really like this. Let's just make it Jack me offer instead of Jack me off. That'll be much better. That'll, I mean, he that'll, pronounces that'll solve it the Mayhoffer. problem. What's May-hoffer. that? He pronounces it may Well, the, <laughs> the second time through the first time he says Jack may offer. And the second time he says, Mr. Mayor offer. <laughs> Man, and as we know, the rest is YouTube history, but check out the whole article. It's really, really funny. 